what's going on guys got a big day today um, picking up a brand new piece of machinery but before that I gotta go do some estimates so I gotta go measure a lawn because the tree coverage on the Google Maps is not so good um, so right now I just gotta grab my little walker been holding off on this uh, machine here that we're gonna be getting today for a couple months um, yeah we do need to make payments on it <clears throat> but I always talk about don't buy equipment unless you have the work and that's why we're going to pick this up today Got three estimates to do right now. Two are for residential snow plowing. We're actually taking that on this year. Uh, just because of the equipment that we're buying this year, that's gonna make our company that much more efficient. Um, some of you know, I bought you know two more multi-force grandstands. Uh, one of them, well, two of them now all together, I'll have two snow plows for commercial sidewalks. Um, but this piece of machinery we're picking up today this is just a game changer for us so we're able now once again to offer snow removal for residential customers okay just got to the first uh, estimate right now we're gonna be doing a driveway right here estimate and we got a little sidewalk over there um, usually we look at how long it'll take um, we usually have like a price matrix per like two inches so to go two plus inches four plus inches six plus inches so we do have a minimum you know charge that we you know have um, and that's just simply for the truck to come out here I mean because you know what are you talking about fuel hourly wages wear and tear on your vehicle insurance so you gotta you know account for that you got a budget for that so that's what I do right off the bat you know if it's like a $30 charge right off the bat whatever your rate is in your area um, you know then you start at that point um, like this here it's just a one one little driveway swoop you know so it won't be too much for them per time um, and usually we'll go two inches or more on residential um, but all of our residential customers are well aware um, even potential clients that um, they're not going to be first on our list because commercial properties are our priority so just keep that in mind when you're out there you know budget for all of your overhead your insurance you know your hourly wages your wear and tear on your vehicle okay I'm at the third estimate it's taking quite some time uh, it's ironic uh, the people that used to live at this house um, we used to take care of it and it was like two owners ago now the new owner calls me up wants snow plowing look at that little driveway huh but it's this house here beautiful house but you know I got to talking with the lady she's inside right now looking at me like why are you videoing uh, anyway she's like anything you can do to help my lawn uh, yeah here comes a truck I said yeah we can uh, core aerate and fertilize uh, if you want next spring we can start get you on a program so she said go ahead well, made it to Bobcat. Apparently, Cage has so many orders, they don't have my plow on there yet. But, got the tires. Well, new machine. Look at this thing. Is that a stereo? Oh my god. These guys pulling it up too. That's service. That is service. Finally made it back to my other house where I'm a house, the Bobcat, the brand new one here. 
Uh, what I wanted to do is make sure we had enough clearance, right? Yeah, and the one thing is, I guess uh, the people at Bobcat accidentally sold the cage plow I had on there. Um, or that was originally going to come with that, but good news is was the older model. I guess we're going to get a brand new model put on this one. So that's awesome. But when I was talking to the guy at Bobcat, he was saying, he was telling me the clearance on top there. And I just wanted to make sure, you know, it was going to clear here, right? What I talk about in regards to equipment all the time is make sure you have the work before you go buying something brand new or just buying anything especially in our industry, you know, where we need equipment all the time. Um, you know, I talk about it all the time, like even that truck, you know, I paid $67,000 for that truck. And I mean, I had the work for snow, leaf removal, salting, I mean, even shrub trimming. I mean, cause we don't do landscaping. So like some people may say I'm kind of, you know, an, of an idiot for buying this $50,000 machine with the cage plow, which you don't see there yet. You will um, because we don't do landscaping you know we don't enough to even justify buying that but the reason I bought that is because we actually have the snow work right um, so I mean if you're gonna try to rob Peter to pay Paul so to speak in other words try to borrow to pay off to pay off to borrow then you're doing it for all the wrong reasons make sure you have the work first because equipment can always be purchased, right? I mean, you you know, work is not promised. I mean, equipment, that's not promised either, but it'll always be there for purchase. So those are the decisions I do make just in regards to buying anything. Like if I'm gonna go out and buy, you know, a phone, if I'm gonna go buy a phone, right? Thousand dollar phone, I better have the money, right? So the only way I'm gonna have that money is having the work. So. Just keep that in mind the next purchases you make like if you buy a 500 dollars backpack blower make sure you got the leaf cleanup worked for that otherwise you're just gonna put yourself into more debt that's not needed you know like yes this is a debt right now but the one thing you guys got to know is i'll have two trucks paid off in like one month from now or two months from now right and don't get me wrong the payment on this is the equivalent of those two trucks so it's not like we're missing a beat or we're not paying the same amount of what we've been paying. But that's how you justify buying things. It's like, you know, make sure you just have the work, nothing else, okay? Yes, I'm thrilled to have something like this. Very grateful. A lot of people in my position, you know, <clears throat> they may be scared, you know, um, or just people in business, you know, taking that risk, you know, buying something new, just buying anything of this magnitude can be a risk and it is a risk i might lose 10 jobs tomorrow i don't know but i have the work now and i know how to go get work you know what i mean so if you have that kind of gift that's a good thing to have um, having plenty of work great thing to have but it's not going to happen if you don't do something about it this here just reinsures my customers that we're going to do a good job you know what i mean Side of this. It actually has a stereo, right? Let's see if I can get in there. Oh! Look at that stereo. That's crazy.